Praise God. My name is Moses Kolediare. By the grace of God, I'm the president of Calvary Dema Ministries International, based in Lokomo, Nigeria. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. The Lord bless you. Bless your life. Bless your ministry. Bless everything that has to do about you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for watching our films. I'm talking about Calvary movies. We appreciate it so much. We, we thank God for your life. And as you continue to watch it, doors will open for you. Greatness will be your portion. Enlightenment will be your portion. As many of you that are watching and are on their sick beds, I pray for you that healing will touch you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. As many of you that are watching and then you are in one form of depression or the other, I'm telling you that the hands of God will touch you. Is the Lord on the sea? Is the Lord in the east? Is the Lord in the fire? Is the Lord in the moon? Which is what this world was formed Which is what man lives Agbara reka Agbara reka om Oru koreka julo Agbara reka Agbara reka Oro to da ye imi ni opopo opo to gbe ile aye ro bo so gbo kan ko se te kan bo si pa kan ko sagbara kan to bo ri ti re o iya ma je yan lo oba ma jo ba lo o se ni toto O so gbo kan ko se te kan o si pa kan ko sagbara kan to bo ri ti re o iya ma je yan lo oba ma jo ba lo o se ni toto agbara re ga agbara re
Is happening. Talk to me. <sighs> why? Why? Why now? What is happening? Why? I don't know what to say. I don't know why. What is happening? It is going to be great. Yes. I and my husband will be on summer holiday to at least three states in the USA. Yes. We want to give ourselves a break from this husky and gusky activity of Nigel. And it's going to be beautiful. Blissful and resourceful. <laughs> oh. Yes, we are trusting God to be on board by next week Tuesday. That will be four days to this time. <laughs> you know what? My husband just desired to spoil me a little this time around. And I'm going to enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy myself this time around. Thank you very much. Just be praying for me for joining mercies and favor. I would like that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, dear. Oh, sit out. Well, <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Yeah, uh... lady uh, was on the line. Which lady? Uh, my friend. Okay, how is she? She claims she's doing fine. She was so happy about our proposed summer holiday to some state in the USA. <laughs> Sweetheart, you see, talking about the summer holiday, I had a moment with the Holy Spirit yesterday and He gave me a specific message. And as I was praying in the room a moment ago, the Lord confirmed the message. <laughs> Dear, I hope. You have not come again with your over spirituality and over righteousness. I knew how long and the serious effort it took me to convince you for us to go to this summer holiday. Ha! Ah, I hope you are not trying to cancel this beautiful arrangement. Eh? I hope you are not trying to put this journey on hold. Dear. Yeah. I didn't talk. It wasn't a message. I said the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Why is your Holy Spirit encouraging sacrifice and discouraging pleasure? Are we in this world to suffer? Is it an abomination to God for his children to cool off? We have money. We have right connection in the right places. We have everything. Then why is it that your Holy Spirit is always against everything that is good? Why is the Holy Spirit? Why did he hate me? Why did he like me? Why did he want me to enjoy myself? Dear, let's have our seat. Come and sit down. Let's have our seat. Just, let's sit. Come and have your seat. I don't understand. I don't know why God hates me so much. I, I don't know. I don't know. After spending so many years in the labor market, I have nothing to show forth for it. Now, why should I love God so much? And then after only two months of collecting salary, look, look at what happened. Am I not back to square one? Am I not back to emptiness? Am I not back to zero point? Dear, you are back to Jesus. You are back to the Holy Spirit. 
You are back to God the Father. You see, it may appear to you that you have lost everything. But it's appearing to me that you have gained everything. Gained what? Gained what? Because you have Jesus. You see, dear, when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, he wouldn't believe the king will soon promote him. When Joseph was thrown into the pit, he wouldn't believe he will come out alive, talkless of being the prime minister. When baby Moses was dropped by the seaside, helplessly, who will ever believe he's going to be the deliverer of Israel? Dear, please, cry no more. I can see God expanding us beyond our imagination. Please, stop crying. Cry no more, please. It's okay, dear. It's okay. I don't understand. It's okay. Dear, tell me exactly what God told you. Um, um, actually, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, but the truth of the matter is, it is not about me. It is what God said. And God said, we, we, should, we, should, we should cancel the U.S. trip mm. and then spend the money that we should use to travel to U.S. for just all the day. That we should use the money for things of kingdom value. No, 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 no! I won't take that! I just won't take that! Dear, read my lips! I won't take that! No, 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 I won't! Sweetheart, are you saying you won't take what God said? You are not talking. I said, are you saying you are not taking what God said? Don't use the name of God to subject me into making a decision that is inconsequential. I know you didn't hear God so well. I know. You didn't hear God. Because if you hear God, God cannot open a door for us to relax. After a serious one year's work, and then decide to, 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 to shut the door against us. No, it is not possible. Because when are we going to relax? Tell me, when are we going to relax and enjoy ourselves? When are we going for fun, fair, and sightseeing? When are we going out of this monotony of spirituality? Tell me now. Tell My me. dear. It is not a monotony of spirituality. It is rather a sacrifice for the kingdom expansion. Eh? You see, God wants us to spend this money, like I said, for missionaries. Eh? Some of these missionaries, they don't have good homes to sleep in. No good houses. They don't have good shelter. They don't have... In fact, Many of them find it very difficult to train up their children in the school, especially in the university. A lot of these missionaries find it very difficult to put on good clothing. Here we are, under air conditioner, enjoying ourselves in the luxury of life. They don't have such luxuries. They are suffering, my dear. Their challenges is quite endless. The list is endless. I know. I know, but we need to cool off. We need it. We need to enjoy ourselves. I need to relax. My dear, my beautiful wife, you listen to me. Let me tell you this. Let me just tell you this very clearly. Our money is essentially not our money. It is the money of God. And it is God that should dictate how the money should be spent. Sweetheart, we must be sensitive in the spirit. We must be sensitive in the spirit to know what God wants and what God says and how God wants us to spend our money. We shouldn't just spend it anyhow. God wants us to spend the money for the missionaries. But the same God may decide and may tell us next time to spend the money on other things. He may even ask us to spend the money to go to USA. What 
whatever he says, we follow. Don't let us be too big for the leading of God. I understand. I understand. I give up to him. Yes, yes, let's proceed. I will live for Jesus yes. day after day. Yes. I live for Jesus <laughs> day after day. I, I live, live for Jesus. They call what name? Thy Holy Spirit. I will obey. Thank you for thanking me. With Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit. I understand. <laughs> the long and short of it is that your father is seriously sick. He has bladder cancer. We need 16 million naira to fly him to India. Jesus Christ. Ma, when did all this start? Three weeks ago. Ah, mommy. Since three weeks ago. And you are just telling us now. I, at least as the first child to buy me, I deserve to be told first. Ah. Serious prayers have been offered. People have fasted and did vigils. People have spoken in tongues. But the condition of my husband is not improving. Instead, is deteriorating. So, your prayer and fasting and speaking in tongues cannot do anything. I know that you do not have anything to offer but prayers. I only called your siblings that can give us handsome money. Tejo Osho gave 7 million naira. Sunday gave 5 million. And the Dockers gave 4 million naira. Your younger ones have tried. They have covered your shame. I came because of two reasons. Okay, ma, please. What are those things, ma? Shut up! I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my daughter. Uh, 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 mommy, uh, but we are one. We are Christians. God banded us together as one. Shut up, your mouth. The first thing is to let you know that your father is seriously sick and will be flown out of the country secondly we just discovered that we need bigger amounts we need three hundred thousand to travel between now and next tomorrow if you can raise the three hundred thousand that means you too have contributed something small to save your dying father 300,000 naira between our next uh, 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 No, don't worry. Um, ma, um, 300,000. We'll, we'll get it. Our God will surely do it. <laughs> Are you sure that your God will do it? I, I am sure, ma. <laughs> you sure? Uh, sure, ma. Very sure? Very sure, ma. Okay, if you are very sure. Hmm. Anyway, that means that uh, we'll be waiting. Next tomorrow is not far. Dear, I saw Chief Ado Force 
that multimillionaire in our church. I told him about that ex. All he could give was 5,000 Naira. I saw Chief Mrs. Kate in Wachuku. She couldn't give a single Naira. Assistant Pastor Joseph said he will be getting his daughter wedded and he need 9.5 million Naira for the wedding expenses. He couldn't give a single penny. Dear, where is the love of God in the church of God? Why is it that there is no more brotherly love in the church of God? Why can't we sacrificially love each other? Why? Where are the spiritual doctors that would take care of the wounded soldiers in the battlefield? Where are they? Why? Where are they? Where are they? Why? Please, you don't have to do this to yourself. Please. Don't act to what is on ground. I know God will see us through. I know He will send help. <sighs> Dear, were you able to see Daddy Gio? Daddy Gio. <laughs> it's not prophet. I am a main time apostle that operates in many times apostolic and prophetic anointing. I can see God pouring down anointing beyond measure. Mm. The shaking in your church will transcend the level of human comprehension. Yarapo Sotoli Kakurima. Well, that is a good question. My going out of this Saturday of Great Commission for two days, Saturday and Sunday for that matter, your pastorate and church council should be ready to bless my ministry with a token of 12 million naira. That exempts my protocol officers. My body of protocol are four people. Therefore, your church should be ready to foot the bill of five of us. Of course, I'm sure you are sure that we cannot sleep in any hotel less than four star hotel. Jesus, you have made provision for everything. Yarapa satali rimu. Heaven will come down. And great things in righteousness will happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yarapo Sontolia. Ah, sorry, bro, buddy, for keeping you a bit time with me. Ah, no, sir. It's my pleasure, sir. What can I do for you now? Um, <coughs> that, see, my English is very sick. And we need some funds to find a for further treatment, sir. How much are we talking about? Well, it's actually running into millions. But my healers were so magnanimous enough to just allot um, a few thousands to us in the tune of 300,000 hands. My goodness! Just 300,000 era. That's it, okay? Ah! Thank you, sir. Yes. A mega amount of money. Ah, they are wonderful. Okay. Ah, yes, very wonderful, sir. Very wonderful. What how can I come in in this matter? Do you want me to pray for you? Ah, yes, sir. No, but, sir, well, pray. But in addition to that, sir, uh, my servant, my wife, we actually reached a conclusion to approach you, sir. Maybe the church could raise us the 300,000. Sorry, brother. 
we cannot help you now. We are hastening up the relocation to our new site. That master edifice should be completed before the end of next month. That cathedral, when completed, is going to be the best master edifice in our city. It is going to be a synagogue of all eyes. I hope you'll be happy with that. Won't you be? Uh, yes, sir. Very happy, sir. And the plan of the devil shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best, sir. Come, Robert. Yes, sir. This is 5,000 Naira. That is how much I can give you now. Sir. Don't go yet, bro, buddy. I'll have to pray for you. You will enjoy him from the realm of the supernatural. He, you are led to sow the seed of five million naira into my personal account. Lines will fall for you in pleasant places. Billions of naira will begin to roll into your account in quick succession. You are going to enjoy the miraculous. Can you see, bro, buddy? You know I told you that we must complete that cathedral by the end of this month. Anything that says we will not move in to that master edifice at the end of next month shall be truncated. Sir. Sir. Please help me. Please sir. help us with this 300,000. Please. There is nothing I can do about it. Please, sir. I served in this church for 22 years. Look, even if you cannot help us with 300,000, please help us with 100,000, please. There is nothing I can do about it. You can go now. This is the time I must observe my siesta. <laughs> Sir, please. Please help us. Even if it is just 50,000 naira, there's no way we will run to. Please help Joe. Please, sir. I need to retire to pay to observe my sister. But I felt led to give you more money. This is 20,000 Naira, in addition to the 5,000 Naira in your hand. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dear, you mean the bishop did that? How all the bishop could give was 25k, despite all the donation he received? And 
That means the needs of the member counts nothing. The cathedral is planning to build is more important than dying souls. Huh? What is happening in the church of God? Why has the church of God turned to this? Where is the brotherly love in the church of God? Ah! You lost your job. You lost everything. Nothing is coming in from anywhere. But there is nowhere to run to but the church. You see, the world is bad, but the church is worse. And the irony of the matter is that the church is chasing us away. Yeah. I have come to the conclusion that the wickedness in the world is less than the wickedness in the church. The hatred in the church is more than the hatred in the world. Please, dear. Don't talk like that. No, the church may be bad, but the God of the church is a loving and caring Father. You see, some shepherd may decide to be uh, wolves in the midst of the sheep, but our chief shepherd is coming to sanitize the flock. But dear, when will the chief shepherd arise and get rid of these wolves? Huh? It is getting too late. It is getting too late. You see, vagabonds, rascals and crews have taken over the pulpits. There are virtually no pastor doing the ministerial work today for Jesus. They are all doing it for their belly. <laughs> Please, wait. Hold on. See, many might be doing it for their belly. But the truth is that there are still some genuine ones out there. Re remember when Elijah told the Lord that um, he's the only prophet remaining. The Lord responded and said, there are several other prophets who are not bowed down to bar. So I want to believe that there are many other genuine ministers who are not bowed down to the God of money, Mammon. Uh, and see, uh, 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 you see, many of them were compromised. The Lord is only just waiting for them to repeat. Jesus Christ! Who is that? My mother on the line. Now, um, sweetheart, please open the Bible to John chapter 7, verse number, number 6. John chapter 7, verse number 6. My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. There is a time. There is a time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse number 1 Chapter 3 verse number 1 To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven There is a time There is a time for everybody You see a lot of people don't know that there is a specific time that God has assigned for the greatness of his children a particular time that God has assigned. Mm. Hmm. And even for those who are not born again, who are not God's children, there's a time assigned for them. Mm. Hmm. There is a time to be born again. And if you are a sinner and you are not born again at that particular time that you are supposed to be born again, it may be a disaster. Mm. It may be. Mm. It may be a disaster. There is a time to build a house or houses. There is a time to buy a car or to buy cars. There is a time to give birth to children. Yes. Or a child. Some people will say, oh, I've been married now for the past five years, three years, ten years, no child, this and that. God is wicked, God is bad. And they will now go and, and do another thing, contrary to the will of God. <laughs> Not knowing that there is a particular time that God has assigned. So, 
test a time that God wants you to have your own child. And when that time comes, no devil, no demons, no power of darkness will be able to change the time of God. Um, there is a time to, to do anything that is good that God wants you to achieve or do in life. But unfortunately, a lot of Christians, a lot of people, they are not aware of this. Or some are aware, but they just play around it. Thinking that they, they, they can get an, another alternative, different from the alternative of God. <laughs> and it is always very, very dangerous. It is dangerous to go outside the will and the time of God. Now, some people may be praying, say, God, give this family a cow. We need a car in my house. We need a car in my family. And maybe that kind is not theirs. They now say, okay. And God is telling, God is saying that in the next two years they will have their own cow. In the next two years they will have, they will have their own cow. And you see these people praying and struggling and doing some other thing that is different from the will of God to get that car in six months. And they may achieve it. Outside the purpose and the will of God, they may achieve getting the car. But unfortunately, the devil may plan for them. To, because as they are, as as God is having his own plan for you, so also the devil is also having his own plan for you. So the devil may plan that that year, if they are able to buy that car, that particular year they will die. It, it is that car that will be their coffin. They struggled out of the will of God. They got the car. In, in another means, in another alternative, different from God, that car may be their offering. Hmm. That is why it is dangerous, my dear, to do anything outside the will of God. Hmm. Yes. It is very, very dangerous, my dear. Very. Thank you. Hmm. Do you hmm. now know how this message relates to us as a family? Ah, very well, dear. How? The two of us would have been bed bodies yesterday. The flight we wanted to go with yesterday crashed. And everybody on board perished. Just like that. That ah. means we would have been one of those that died in the plane crash if we have insisted on following the mm. way of the devil rather than following yes. the way of God. Ah, God, I thank you. Thank you for obeying my husband. No, not me. The Holy Spirit. Oh, the Holy Spirit, I thank you. Hmm. God, I thank you. You are a good God. Our Father, you are a great deliverer. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The ashes of days. The I am that I am. The Rose of Sharon. The great deliverer. Yes, Lord. I am that I am. Yes, Lord. The Rose of Sharon, yes, Lord. the Lion of Judah, yes, Lord. Ashes of this, yes, Lord. King of Glory. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Moses snake that swallowed up all the cats of the snake of the Egyptian magician. The fourth person in the furnace of fire. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You love us so much. Ah, I know that you love us. You lost the I cannot say why. You love no, us, we, we cannot, cannot say why. why. Oh, On Calvary tree, tree, the Lord died for all. You love us, we, we cannot say why. Thank you, Jesus, because you love us. You don't allow us to die. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So we have died. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are a monkey. Call part full. You have no past, present, and future value. Ha! I told my daughter not to give her consent to you in marriage. But she insisted. She said God spoke to her. God told her. Ha! Can you now see that it is not God? It's the devil. It's the devil that spoke to her. Ah, my husband died just because you couldn't give a bigger amount of 300,000. 
He gave up two hours ago. Dead. Jesus Christ. Please. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you in the name of God. I tried all I could. But my effort was just effort in futility. And I know that this is the handiwork of the devil. But God will surely rise for us. Shut up your mouth! I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my daughter. Handing over my daughter to you is like handing over her to perdition and delusion. Um, mommy, please, ma. In three hours. We'll be there in three hours, ma. What? Never. Don't try it. Don't dare it. Don't come to my place. If you come, I will curse you. Don't come. Hello, mommy. <laughs> mommy. Mommy just dropped the phone on me. She just, just dropped the phone on me. <sighs> but I know that our God will come true. I know. Please, don't cry. <sighs> the worst has come to his worst. My life is dwindling to the abyss. I married very late. What, what are you saying now? Talk to me three times. Hey, please. In my 30s. This is the sixth year of marriage. With nothing to show for it. No, Not even a child. All I can see around me is poverty upon poverty. Poverty? Poverty what? <laughs> so we do it now. You will do our own too. Dear. Yes. I love you. But... The love I have for you can no longer sustain my present predicament. No, 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 what are you saying now? Stop talking like this now. My love for you flew out of the window. Which window? What? This very moment. No child. No work. No food at all. We became glorified beggars. Ah, my dad died. And my mother disowned me. All because of you. No, no. no. Ah. What are you doing? This is our wedding. No, 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 honey, please, please. I'm going. Don't go. I can't take this from you. I can't. I'm going. I'm going. Don't go. I can't. See, if you, if you leave me now, my life will go down the drain. If you leave me now, my life will be like a living hell. You have been the one encouraging me. The other time when I came, when I lost my job, you were the one encouraging me. The other time we were looking for money, you were encouraging me. Please. I will go. Don't, don't, don't. don't. What the hell? I will go. I will go. I will go. I will go. Sorry, brother. You eventually lost your father in law to son. Papa, it was very devastating. Sorry about it. But you don't need to worry yourself too much about it. We will all die one day. Heaven is our home. Papa, you could not even pay me a condolence visit. Neither did you call. Oh, my manners. It didn't cross my thought process. You know I've been encumbered with how to finish putting touches to the master edifice and other logistics. Twelve bishops from Nigeria and other great men of God are coming to that occasion. Bishop Franklin from U.S. and Bishop Toriela from Canada or give their words to make themselves available that day. It is going to be great. I have a good news for you. Good news? Okay. What is it? The governor of this state has just called me and told me that he will make himself available on that day. Oh, really? Mr. Lord. 
I don't know if you are aware that my wife left me. Oh, it didn't cross my thought process. I heard about it, but I forgot to give you a call. Um, I don't know if you can afford me the benefit of asking you two pertinent questions, sir. Go ahead, bro, buddy. But you need to make it snappy because I have an appointment with somebody which I must honor. It is all about the day of dedication of that mad star Edivis. Sir. night I had a moment with the Lord and the Lord told me a lot and a lot of things one of the principal things that God told me is that there's a need for us to help brother body God uh, wants us to help him out of poverty I, 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 I was just feeling that we should give him five million naira to at least start something how do you feel about it? My feelings is not as important as what God is saying. Hmm. Interestingly, this is a case that God has completed. A case that God has completed? How? The Spirit of God is one. God told me exactly the same thing early this morning during my devotion. Hmm. Dear, can I beg your indulgence for an upper shift from 5 million to 10 million, sir? 5 million naira to 10 million naira. That's okay. Since God has made a provision, that's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, I just pray for him that the Lord will make his life a fertile ground for our seed of faith. Amen. 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 Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let me. Just go there in a jiffy. Let me go there in medication. You have given your consent. All right. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye, man. Get your song.
It is too late to cry. When the head is cut off, how do you mean? <laughs> well, you see, I don't need your money. And I don't need the money of any Christian. Yes, because the tide has changed. The pomel is now the pomela. And the oppressed is now the oppressor. Power has changed hands. Uh, what is sarcasm? But uh, I, do, I doubt if you understand what I'm saying. I said, God led my family to sow a seed of 10 million naira into your life. <laughs> okay, like you expect me to jump at the sound of that, right? You expect me to be happy. Yes, I'm happy. I'm glad. <laughs> But the truth is this, it is permissible for a man to be born poor, but not permissible for the man to remain poor. And it is not permissible for the rich to collect from the poor. Rather, the rich should give the poor. So, in this case, who is the rich and who is the poor? Well, <clears throat> it's obvious you don't understand that I am the rich. The poor. Oh, you think you have money? <laughs> like seriously? <laughs> you think what you have is money? Oh, wait until body shows you what real money is. Wait until body shows you what real affluence is. Wait until body shows you what money can do. What power is embedded in having money? Wait until body shows you. And by the way, go and announce to the world that body has gone. Mr. Bode, don't go away from Jesus. Don't forsake Jesus. He has not forsaken you. He's only waiting for the time. I mean, the right time to bless you. Mr. Bode, don't change the formula. The Jesus' formula still remains the best formula. Jesus' formula still remains the best. <laughs> You have, you have done a lot. You have gone through a lot. You have suffered a lot. You have sacrificed for too long. But I want to tell you this. The history is gone. The story is gone. The glory is here. Amen. And all we should say, Amen. Look. It's high time for me to jettison fallacies and embrace the fact. I want fact. I don't want fallacies. Yeah! By the way, my door is ajar. So, when you leave, shut the door. Because I do not want to shut the door against you. Okay. Sweetheart, he's up to something. I don't know what he's up to, but I'm sure that he's up to something. I can't pin down what he's up to, but he's up to something. To say that I'm so surprised will be an understatement. In fact, I'm so shocked and totally overwhelmed. Dear, God is telling me something right now. That Mr. Bode is playing a chess game with the devil. Playing a chess game with the devil. Yes. Hmm. And he has forgotten that no one plays with the devil and win. No one plays with the devil and win. He dines with the devil, but his cutleries are too short. <laughs> My prayer for him is to wake up from his slumber so that he won't lose more than what he has lost before. He must not lose more than what he has lost before because already he has lost so much. It would be a disaster for him to lose further. Ah, 
he must not lose more. We are going to pray for him. But the Lord God. Oh, to... Dear, you know I'm not covering my hair. And I should cover my hair because of the angels. Let me quickly go and bring my scarf. <coughs> I was waiting. Mm. 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 Women are supposed to cover their hairs because of the angels while praying. That's wisdom. Thank you, Jesus, for the wife you have given to me. There is not anything about that, but it's certain truth. Hmm. Women should cover their hairs because of the angels. That's an order. It's not an advice. Yeah, this is, this is good. So, we're going to pray. Every calculation and manipulation the devil against this man, the Lord will destroy Jesus' name. Amen. So I like the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will destroy Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says, if our gospel be hid, it is hidden from those who are ready to perish, whom the God of this world has covered their eyes that they will not see the glorious gospel of Jesus. So no unbelievers want to sin. They don't want to sin. But they are sinning because of what? It's clear that the enemy has used to cover their eyes so that they will not see what? The glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus. We are going to pray. And the Lord God will allow that, that scale that is covering his eyes, the eyes of Mr. Body, that this case will fall off right now in Jesus' name. Father, in and the name of Jesus, every scale that is covering the eyes of Mr. Body, <laughs> scale, Father, so that you can see the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, the Lord, fall off. Fall off. Jatur 
Rusanja. Datu Rusanja. Thank you for making my church grow. My members are now 23,000 as of our last anniversary. As of our last anniversary, people troop into my church in hundreds weekly. Money flow into my accounts in millions of naira and art currency. I now belong to a club of it. Why did you call me here? Yes, I want you to empower me. I live in the same street with three commissioners and two director generals. None of them attend my church. I want all of them to be members of my church. I don't have time to waste here. How do you want me to help you? I want one of the commissioners by name Bami Koli Bami Shibi to run mad. I don't want him to be healed of his insanity until his family members run to me for help. You will now give me power to heal him. The second commissioner attends the church of my competitor. The growth of his church is a threat to the growth of my church. Mm. And what is the name of your competitor? Apostle Prophet Jackson. The set man, an arrowhead of fire in the sanctuary ministry. Ah, ah. Apostle Prophet Jackson of the fire in the sanctuary ministry. Uh, 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 uh. He is also our client. There is nothing we can do against him, you know. Chicken don't eat the intestine of other chicken. Next listen. The top commissioner is a Muslim. By the name, Tajudin Mokaila. <laughs> and what do you want me to do to Tajudin Mokaila? I want him to develop incurable multiple cancer. All your requests will be granted. All the commissioners, except the one that attends the church of Apostle Prophet Jackson of the fire in the sanctuary ministry, will be attending your church. The directors will also be attending your church. <laughs> more people, more people will attend. But on one condition. What condition? You have to pay the price. What is the price? You will need to sleep with a young lady below the age of 26 years. Within two hours from now. To sleep with a lady below the age of 26 years, within two hours from now? Exactly. That is the least of them. I have many of them in my church. As a matter of fact, the ladies I sleep regularly with are more than 20 in my church and they are available for my service at my court and bacon good your two hours start counting from now a hey lady we don't two hours from now ah Two ladies, two hours. 
Hello, Madres. I want you to meet up with me in my private guest room at the usual place within 30 minutes. Shut up your mouth! Shut up your mouth! Fool! 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 You travel without informing me? Ha! Ah, idiot! Idiot! Ah. Hello, Shola! I want you to meet up with me in my private guest room at the usual place in the next 20 minutes. What did you say? Oh, no, 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 no. I hate blood. Ah, I hate blood. Don't come, don't come. <sighs> Hello, Rosemary. I want you to meet up with me in my private room in the usual place in the next 15 minutes. I want you to be very sure that you are leaving this place with 200,000 naira. I will join you, sir. I should be with you latest in 10 minutes. You are blessed. Yes, I said you are blessed. Rabo Sotoli Kakuri Mama, I declare that you will never recover from this divine visitation you are experiencing. I'm totally flagabasted by the news I'm hearing all over the place. I'm also very surprised. I know the news you wanted to talk about. What is the news? That your husband is now very rich. I heard that his story has changed. He now wines and dines with the rich of the society within the space of three months that you left him. Where on earth did he get such a land checking money? Mommy, I believe he must have been visited by God. But he loves God with the whole of his heart. I believe God has turned his story to glory. He must have been handsomely rewarded by God, Mommy. Within a space of three months, God did not visit him when he was 20, 30. Will God visit him now when he is in his 40s? Does God work like that, blessing a man so amazingly within the space of three months? <sighs> Mommy, God is an expert in such things. He may not visit a man in 50 years. But he may decide to visit him in five minutes. But mommy, I'm feeling led by God to reconcile with him. <laughs> my beautiful dancer, you made it to time. God bless you, my dancer. Thanks so much, man of God. Without wasting time, let us go into full action now. Sir, I didn't come for action. I came for a mission. Mission? What mission? Mission of evangelism. Evangel what? From your mouth? Sir. I want you to stop what you have been doing to me. I thought of my ways and decided to surrender her to Jesus. I am now a new creature, a blood-washed child of God. And nothing matters to me anymore than to live for Jesus. I was even planning to come and see you, to tell you to forsake all your evil ways and evil practices when you called me on phone. Are you mad, Rosemary? Have you gone mad? What came over you? Rosemary, I say, what came over you? Huh? Tell me what has come over you. The Spirit of God has come over me. 
and when the Spirit of God comes over a man, that man cannot remain the same. My bishop, I plead with you. Let the Spirit of God come over you. Bishop, I can see a terrible danger. A horrible danger ahead of you. And if you don't give room in your heart for the Spirit of God to come in, this fierce, angry and devouring lion that is roaring and roaming around you will consume you. Give a room in your heart for him. There is no room for him to occupy in me. My rooms are already occupied by powerful forces. I know the way to destroy the roaring lion roaming about to destroy me. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the hand thereof is destruction. Don't be destroyed. I must not be destroyed. I cannot be destroyed. I will not be destroyed. I am too big to be destroyed. Hmm. The ball is now in your court. But I must go. You cannot go. I must go. You will not go. I must go. You cannot go. I must go. You will not go. I'm going. You are going nowhere. I'm you going. must stay. You cannot go. I'm going. You cannot go. You cannot go. Yes, I'm going. You cannot go. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. This girl is gone. She knows too much. And she might reveal too much. I know what to do. Batako! 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 Rosemary is getting out of my guest room now. You must take care of her before she takes care of us. You understand? hell do you want here? So now you can fidget. Now you are fidgeting just like a chicken. You? <laughs> don't even dare. Don't, don't dare. What, what do you think you want to do? Oh, you want to call someone. You try that. Go now. Be quiet. Be quiet. Please. My Lord Bishop can beg. Really? You ruined my life. You are a big boss in shit clothes. You preach about the Jesus you don't even know. You deceive people. You collect all forms of money in the name of God. You extort the innocent. Even the gullibles. And then you invest heavily in international businesses. You taught people false revelations and visions to make them fear so that they will give you money, right? Yeah, that's what you do. Your deceitful summons and all your prosperity and wealth. You, you, you hardly talk about eternal damnation in hell when your members are suffering and they are suffering. You, you, yes, you. Alfred, you are not a bishop. You could not give me 50,000 there. To help save my illus life. Yes! You can give them thousands of money just to sleep with them, to defile them, and to destroy their future. <laughs> my illus died. Yet you could not even give me a call, let them know to visit me. Yet you visit government officials and give them false revelations and prophecies in exchange for their corrupt money. Don't let go! My wife left me in pain and a traumatic experience, but yet you could not even check on me to say I'm fearing in this pathetic situation. I was away from your church for months. My soul did not bother you, or because I did not. Right? Huh? Now your cathedral is ready. You have a jet. 
you have a fat account in Nigeria and overseas. I'm afraid. I no longer believe in God. I no longer believe in the Bible. I only believe in my child. Yes. Yeah. But because of you, I'm afraid. You shall not deny. Mommy, I know you're surprised at my riches, right? Yeah, yes you are. But then, you're not the only one who is surprised. The whole world is surprised as well. Uh, there's time for everything. This is my time. The Lord has decided to visit me, you know, and elevate me, and reward me for all my years of troubles and efforts. <laughs> Thank God for your life. I was greatly surprised when you transferred 10 million naira into my account. 10 million naira! Ha! May God raise you above your enemies. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. Ah! 10 million naira! Hey! Hey, you see? You should not go to that extent. Mm, yes. And I'm going to do more. I've not seen anything. Oh, what have you seen? Ten million. Ten million is nothing. I will make you a name. Yes. In, in this town. If I, I will make you a voice. What am I even saying? I will make you a voice in this society. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> when money is talking. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are indeed the stone which the builder rejected. God has made you the chief cornerstone. Mm. Just <laughs> only that the businesses of my children has collapsed. Mm. They were going down gradually and nothing is working anymore for them. <sighs> Foolish old woman. She never knew that I diabolically turned the riches of her children to myself. Foolish woman. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry for the way I spoke to you. I insulted you. I called you names. I never knew that good things can come out of your Nazareth. I'm sorry. Mommy, let bygone be bygone. Yeah. Uh, Yoruba says, I open to you. She shed it to Luoba. Well, um, as regards that of your children, their businesses and all, I will help to raise them up. Eh? Uh, they are dry bones, shall surely live again. Mm. Mm, yeah. Um, honey. Yes, darling. Uh, please, you would need to inform your siblings that um, they should meet me up here tomorrow. I will check my schedule to know um, my availability so that you can communicate that to them. Okay. Ah! Eminu Oni Yossi! Eminu Oni Yossi! Be motiferi! Then, Nori! Eminu Oni Yossi! I was actually wondering if we could Who is the dog? Who is the leopard? 
The answer is obvious. The Never mind, I think I understand you. I know that the least thing the devil wants is for us to get to talk together. Daddy. Is the day of your salvation. Last <laughs> lot. What a wonderful family. Uh, well, I'm deeply sorry um, to express my sadness over your present financial crisis. Um, it's a condition that would not be permanent. Uh, this setback is only temporary and it's gonna vamos soon. I, I want you to consider me as the um, Daniel that God has sent to your judgment. Better still, the Moses that God has sent to deliver the Israelites. No, now, I'm not saying that you are the Israelites. But in this context, I, I, I think you perfectly fit into that description, doesn't it? Uh, uh, well, um, <clears throat> I would love to see each and every one of you individually so that I can extend my hand of fellowship. You know, as regards giving you a raise. You know. No, 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 no. You, you didn't tell them. I, I'm, I'm not giving to well, the praise of men. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I hold daily to the word of God, which says that your right hand should not know what your left hand is doing. <laughs> Yes, I did. And I'm not given to self flattering and I'm not used to empty words uh, because God is the lifter of man. Oh, Luani, glory. All glory to God. Thank, Thank you very sir. much. Sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank you so much. Thank you Kennedy, Kennedy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I heard that um, you had to close your shop at Alaba because your business nose dived. Ah, to say my business nose dived would be an understatement. Mm. <laughs> my business was in a terrible ways until it totally collapsed. I ran from pillar to post. I traveled from coast to coast to revive it. <laughs> but all my efforts were effort in gross futility. 
They didn't see the light of the day. Ah! Hi, Kennedy. That used to give people money in hundreds of thousands. That, used to, that was before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, in fact, I find it difficult to feed myself. <laughs> I even beg to eat. Sir, sir, please help me. Please help me. I'm so happy you are kneeling before me. Your mother looked down on me. You also looked down on me. It's my turn to look down on you. Mr. Kennedy, why are you down? Ha! Let me be down. No, you shouldn't be down. Ha! Let me be down. Kennedy. Yes. Yes. Ha! Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, like, how much do you think um, can revive your business? Hmm? Hey. Sir? Ah. Hmm. Sir, anything would do. But five million naira would do an excellent job, sir. Five million? Yes, sir. Five million naira. And then the credit. Your account number. Ah. Sir? Account number. Hey! <laughs> 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 Zero two. Six four. Mm. What bank? Ah, Where my bank, sir? Where my bank? And my bank. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should um, get an alert soon. Eh? An alert? What are you saying? I can see one before the five million I requested, sir. Fifteen million. Hey! Hey! Ah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Hey, Jesus! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I said I'm not collecting any money from you. Not by force. You must collect this one. No, no, like I I, I want I want to bring you out of poverty. I want you to have a good life. I want you to experience what money can do. The changes that money can do this money. For crying out loud, I don't want any money. You will want this one. Not by force. It's by, uh, you must collect this one. Why not by you force? Yeah, this by force. I said I don't want. It is by force. It's not by force. You can't force me to collect money from you. It, it is by force. So. Not be by force. It is by My judgment is this. You will be demoted. And you will die a month after the demotion. Yes, I have spoken. And it is final. G
Jesus. Bye bye. Satan. Devil. Here I come. Is the Lord on the sea? Is the Lord in the heat? Is the Lord in the fire? Is the Lord in the moon? Which is what this world was formed. Which is what man lives.